Lee, um, connecting with people online, what's your number one, uh, I oh, guess? Straight in, straight coming to me. Yes, go, um, I'm gonna, I always go to you first because it feels wrong to start with me first. Uh, okay, um, so yeah, but my, my first one when it comes to connecting with people online is um, more around how you're positioning what you do. And that is that if you're developing content, you're putting it out, you've got your online strategy, you're probably not competing with other churches when it comes to engaging people and getting their attention. And I think this is a mistake that's often made in that we think the space that we're in, if we put church out on a Sunday morning, that the thing we're competing against with our content at that time is people looking for other church content. But as you know, if you go online or you're looking on YouTube or you're following a Facebook link, there are myriad distractions of other things that you could engage with. Yes, there probably will be churches, but you're competing with what's on, you know, standard standard TV, instant access with things like Netflix, people catching up, match of the day, whatever it is because of where people are engaging. You've got to know like you've got to be certain about what you're putting out because you're, you're the, 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 so we used to say that like, you know, it's Sunday evening. Like if you're doing a Sunday evening service as a church, you're not competing with other Sunday evening um, churches around the area. You're probably competing with like, you know, cheese on toast and top gear. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. that, you know, it's, it's what else is going on at that time that people can engage with or, you know, blue planet or something like that yeah i think that was back at the time kind of like sunday evening kind of fodder After the summer that be at... that kind of thing. i think you're going back a really long way now Chris. antiques road well, like talk, talk about uh like we're on about niche references yesterday yeah i think that's... so now we might have an audience that are old enough to remember all of those things um so it's the when you're putting it out there you You've got to think about what content you're putting in, how you're positioning it, what it looks like, and kind of like time and attention wise, what slot you've got available that if you've got, because you might have a live bit or you might have a pre-recorded bit and it, it's, you know, you know, are they watching it live or are they going to come back and watch it on demand? Um, so it's that, you know, not being time sensitive to when you're viewing it, not putting a marker in in time of like, you know, what's happening. It's slightly unavoidable, you know, like seasonally Christmas, Easter, things like that. But generally, you don't have to keep saying good morning if it could be viewed at any time of the day. You can just say hello. Uh, do you know what I mean? It's those kind of things. Yeah. But no, no, no. The, the primary is have something in mind to understand in terms of attention what you're competing with. That, that's my takeaway. Like the first one is what you're up against, but don't think church. What else is it? I think this really leads me on to the thought of, because when you're thinking about, okay, you're competing with things that are not other churches, which I think is brilliant, firstly, you know, from a unity's sake, you know, and we should be, you know, all churches should be trying to reach different strata of people within their area uh, and online, of course. Uh, but then when you start to think about, OK, why does someone want to watch, say, a Top Gear or Blue Planet or whatever show is on at the moment, whatever's on Netflix, the major Netflix shows, what is it that 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 show is offering them? And it's not I and mean, we say entertainment, but what there's always something deeper mm. because every every TV show is taking you through a story of transformation. It's, you know, even, you know, a documentary is doing a, a um a, a factual tv show is doing that it is it's, it's, it's all basically storytelling it's telling you a story and that story is going to be compelling in a certain way whether that's through you know using humor or if it's using you know um some serious hard facts about the world like blue planet yeah. for instance um so there's something within that narrative that i think that we need to tap into that that because that's the real competition the competition is is a competition of stories i think and yeah how can we but, tell you know if we can tell a more compelling story then i think that we're gonna well of course the more compelling story is the one that gets watched and i think unfortunately at the moment i don't think it's not that we don't have the most compelling story we have the most compelling story i just don't think we tell it in the most compelling way at the moment uh, and i think that's part of it is that if you if you compare the um, Sunday evening shows, I think is a good one to look at and about what people actually want. A lot of the time, 
they want a slightly more relaxed environment because yet you're, you're kind of in, in ones that I know Sunday's the first day of the week in, you know, traditionally how we talk about it, but people are using it as that wind down and then the pre prep for the Monday. Yeah. They want something that they can access in comfort. They want something that um, gives them some facts and knowledge because people like to be given facts and knowledge and things they can action and things they can do with. And there's been an element of entertainment. <clears throat> it needs to be a low barrier to entry. It needs to have familiarity. And it, it kind of needs to be that, um, yeah, that sense that like, actually I can take something away from this that's applicable, something I talk about tomorrow. Um, you know, you've only got to look at episodes of things like Top Gear and Blue Planet to know the impact of how they put what they do together, that you see that long tail of it that literally takes you to the next episode Yeah, about how people talk about it throughout the week. You know, we've had an episode, was it, it was an episode of Blue Planet and, you know, some comment on it and basically like two days later, we're not using straws anymore. You know, it's that, that, yeah. that kind of impact. Okay. I'm sorry. I've been really disingenuous to like the level and complexity of that as an issue, but it's. <laughs> Blue Planet is just about the straws. <laughs> no, but it's that it's that piece that actually some something in it showed an image, made a statement. They didn't have a series. It wasn't thematic. It wasn't a six week build and four guest speakers. It was a couple of minutes in an hour long program. Yeah. But absolutely hit. So I I I think we sometimes yeah knowing what we're competing with and what people are after and how they want to view and what the arcs of those stories are is critical to how we how we put that together and if you're comp when we say competing it's not just in terms of like the other things we're up against it's time and attention as well yeah and that means that we you know when you're thinking about so you've got to keep people's attention and people's attention spans have got shorter and shorter as the the years have gone on uh, although interestingly that you know there's the rise of long form media you know conversations like you know we do a long form conversation ours is normally around about the sort of 50 minute mark and and there's you know i listened to a podcast the other day that was nearly two hours long and uh and and so we have the ability to retain attention but it's got to be it's got to be something that's got to grab us and so straight away from the outset you've got to have something that you're talking about that's going to be of interest to people you've you've got to you've got to start with people where where they're at and what they're interested in and that could be an appeal to the head it could be a, an appeal to the heart i think um i think often um for many people the appeal to something of uh it like uh, something that's in where you're learning something new intelligence you know you're you're growing yeah. in that kind of area that does that has a strong appeal to people and then, whereas I'm, I sometimes wonder whether, like, we want to talk about heart issues in church, and I think that's really good, and we should be talking about heart issues. But I think as a as a doorway to say, let's talk about how you're feeling about this is sometimes, and maybe for some it works, um, and maybe just maybe it's more for me that, that that could be really true. That I'm probably more drawn in by, let's think about this. I mean, I'm obviously I run thinking church, so I understand that I'm probably uh, probably that way wired. <laughs> um but many i think many people are interested by you know what's what's the thought behind this and what's the, the opinion on this and the stance on this and then that can lead you to uh deeper conversations as it as it goes along um so i think the, yeah the competition factor is is huge and we i think we need to pay special attention to it and and also need to learn from those tv shows as to what they do some of the tricks that they use because they're like like i said earlier that they're, they're telling a story and they're trying to just they're just trying to tell a better story than we are um so it's a competition of stories yeah yeah and the the funny thing is is that if you look at that about what they're competing against what's across the different channels it's not like you've got documentary versus documentary versus documentary what what they've got across that is feeding many different things like, so it's like, but but if I bet if you took all of them, you could you could map that rise in the arc of the journey they want to take a viewer on. And that's the thing. It's like I think that's the other piece is that at the start, that those people who are they are viewing is um consumption behavior. They are consumers of what's going on. 
much before we go to a, a, a deeper level and actually have those bolt-ons of anything that people can get involved in. That early stage, they are consumers of what's being delivered. 